Hello everyone, my name is Shikha Mahor and today I am going to discuss jump instruction with you. So let's start our discussion with a very basic question. What does a jump instruction do? The jump instruction allows the programmer to skip sections of a program and branch to any part of the memory for the next instruction. Okay, let's take an example. Suppose we have a code segment which consists of some statements. Code gets executed line by line and at the fifth statement we see a jump instruction. On executing this statement, all the further statements 6, 7 and 8 are skipped and the control is passed to the statement 9. From there on, program starts executing to statement 9, 10 and so on. There are two types of jump instructions, unconditional jump instruction and conditional jump instruction. Conditional jump. The conditional jump instruction tests the following flag bits sine bit, zero bit, carry bit, parity bit, and overflow bit. If the condition under test is true, a branch to the label associated with the jump instruction occurs. If the condition is false, the next sequential step in the program executes. For example, a JC will jump if the carry bit is set. A JC here means jump if carry. Unconditional jump. Unconditional jumps are further divided into two parts, intersegment jumps and intersegment jumps. Let's see intersegment jumps first. Intersegment jump allows to jump anywhere in the current code segment. There are two types of inter intersegment jumps. Short jump and near jump. We will see shortly what these two jumps do. Intersegment jumps. Intersegment jump allows to jump inside as well as outside the current code segment. Example of intersegment jump is a far jump. Let's see what is a near jump. The near jump is a 3 byte instruction that contains an output followed by a signed 16 bit displacement. Byte 1 contains opcode, byte 2 and 3 together contains a displacement of 16 bits. It passes control to an instruction in the current code segment located within plus minus 32k byte. The near jump is relocatable because it is a relative jump. This jump is known as relative jump because if the code segment moves to a new location in the memory, the distance between the jump instruction and the operand address remains the same. This allows the code segment to be relocated by simply moving it. Let's see how a near jump works. Suppose we have a memory segment from 10,000 to 1003. Memory locations 10,000, 1002, and 1003 contain a 3 byte jump instruction. Here, code segment register contains 1000, displacement is equal to 0002, old IP is 1003. To find new IP, that is the jump address, we will add displacement to old IP. On adding CS, that is code segment, old IP and displacement, we get the jump address of 1005. This will take us to the memory location 1005. Let's consider our program. In this program, the first jump instruction, which is jump next, takes us to the memory location 200. Here, the memory location 200 contains a label named next. And on executing this label, we get to jump back to the start. We can see that the memory location of start is 0002 and the 
jump start instruction contains triple zero two as the offset. So you can get a clear picture of this jump instruction from this program. Let's see what is a far jump. It is an intersegment jump as we discussed earlier, which means that it can jump outside the current code segment. A far jump instruction obtains a new segment and the offset address to accomplish the jump. The far jump is a 5 byte instruction. Byte 1 contains opcode, byte 2 and 3 contain the new offset address. But 4 and 5 contain the new segment. Let's see how a far jump works. Again, suppose we have a memory segment from 10,000 to 83130. The jump instruction is loaded at 10,000. The first byte contains opcode, the next two bytes contains offset, and the next two bytes contains segment address. Here to find the jump address, we have to add segment address plus offset address. In the given example, the segment address is A3000 and offset address is 0127. This gives us the jump address that is A3127. Let's take an example. The far jump instruction sometimes appears with the far pointer directive as illustrated. Another way to obtain a far jump is to define a label as a far label. A label is a far only if it is external to the current code segment or procedure. The jump of instruction in the example references a far label. The label up is defined as the far label by the external up to call in far directive. External labels appear in programs that contain more than one program file. So in the given example, you can see memory locations and relocatable programs. As we have mentioned earlier, this example works in the similar manner. See the statement start column at ax comma 1 its memory location is triple zero two to jump to this memory location in the second last instruction the relocatable address the triple zero two is used in the similar manner other two jump to instructions are executed as well so we have come to the end of this discussion Thank you for being a patient listener.